Hello and welcome here. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing about what and how I teach to a kindergartner at home with she being in full time kindergarten. I know this sounds a little crazy to so many, but I'm going to tell you how we do it in entertaining yet digestible way so that you can get some tips how you can do it as well. And these tips may or may not work for everyone out there because it totally depends on what kind of education system your child is enrolled in. Don't worry, still you can get some points over here and figure out how you can incorporate those. But yeah, let's get started. If your child is enrolled in a full-time school where they also get a homework on top of that, then it can be a little tricky for you to understand like how to do the homework schooling. But I'll share the little tip over here. The very first thing is if your child gets the homework, and if something has been taught to you that their school in their school, I mean, and if you think like your child has not got that concept and they have to do the homework, you can do the homeschooling of that particular topic. Now you don't have to figure out what topic to teach because already the school have done the work. They know what to teach according to their age, what is in the curriculum. So you don't have to work that part. You only have to teach your child in a fun way, that particular concept and ask them to do their homework got it right so that is the homeschooling that you that kind of homeschooling you will have to do with your child if they are into full-time schooling and also get the homework to do the other thing that you can do is the circle time thing before they go to school or before they start their online schools i'll tell you more things in detail when i will show you the routine that we follow but let's talk about the second category if your child goes to school and they do not get homework then you are in my category because Nirvi doesn't get homework and that time the evening time we utilize in doing homeschooling again i'll talk about it in a little bit but let's talk about the third category if your child is not going to school or and if they do not get homework like obviously that means you're homeschooling them with my material or any other material it's completely fine you can still incorporate few things which you learned from this video there's no right way or wrong way it's just if you want to do it you can do it so now let's talk about how i homeschool her with the full-time schooling so i have divided her homeschooling into three parts first is circle time obviously the second thing is of any activity or writing practice third is of reading practice and reading books the very first thing is the circle time that we do right before school she goes to a school now this generally happens like three to four days and days in a week and if she's not in like if she is not going to school if it is a holiday or weekend we just generally do it so at least she is doing four to five days in a week and i just try to make it happen like every day in a week possible if if it is possible but if it is not we just chill out now in the circle time um, we have calendar we have oral learning uh, you know pages all over the wall it can be of anything it totally depends on your child's age i have a dedicated video on like what is circle time that is just a oral learning but in a visual form so according to your child's age you can select the topics and most of the pages that you see over here are from my Greek and science workbook and from the all the other different workbooks as well for which i have curated for two to three year old kids and for three to four year old kids so just i mix and match few you know um topics and mix and match few pages stick it on the wall for one week or 10 days and then i just either change it or repeat it depending on like where she is has she learned it or not right now she is learning about the solar system body parts sight words are very common in our homeschooling she's also learning about the hindi letters just a recognition of it and we are also working on uh, learning the spellings of days of the week so these are the things she has been doing she has been doing from the past few days and to complete this whole wall it just takes three to five minutes which is not too much for any child to do before going to school because when she gets up she gets to watch her any favorite show while she is getting ready and she's having her breakfast so you know she's already uh, completely awake and right before going to school we just uh, you know five or ten minutes prior to that we put a uh, like switch off the tv do the circle time and we are off to school after she is back from school she watches again her any of her favorite show for 45 minutes one hour then we just play a little bit 
and um, during this time she is also snacking on so many things so her tummy is full she is fresh after watching her show and we also play a little bit so that we have this one on one bonding and she is into this family zone now and after that we start either the activity like hands on activity or the writing practice sheets now we don't do both in a uh, like on the daily basis or on uh, the same day either we pick up hands on activities or we pick up writing practice sheets because they both take time and all the hands on activities that we have uh, we have uh, we, uh, we do generally are the learning activities so they take a little bit of effort to do so definitely when we are doing it it is going to be taking time so if we do both hands on activity and writing practice sheets it is exhausting with the full time school and uh, the writing practice sheets are from either my gk and science workbook or from or from um, writing practice sheets of english and math we also do logical worksheets in between from 3 to 4 year old kids and of math and english all the workbooks have been designed in a way that they are interactive and fun to do um so link of all the workbooks are in the description box just in case if you want any or all if you get the bundle it is on 40% off always and uh, like it contains six workbooks so you don't have to go anywhere these days we are working on digraph digraphs are not included in the um workbook bundle because it is something which is for 4 and 4.5 and above kids like for the kindergarten kids so and i'm also working on preparing a bundle for kindergarten and first grade kids because soon we will be doing those anyways when she's done she's allowed to play whatever she wants after dinner when she's into bed um we just read few books and during we read few books we also do the reading practice it can be of sight words it can be of sentences we don't uh, force her to read the entire book we don't force her to read like the whole page or something if she is interested in doing that which mostly she is she does that there are few books she can read because they are simple and easy to read according to her age and if she does it fine if she wants us to read the books we do it because uh, reading aloud is also really important for them no matter how uh, well they know how to read and also um the reading book that we follow is a little early readers and there are few books other books as well so uh, like we just do one page or you know five seven sentences maybe not more than that so this is how we have divided i think like this is something which is doable for most of the parents but if your child gets a lot of uh, homework and if they get even a little bit but it if it takes uh like 40 minutes 30 minutes for your child to do i would encourage you to just do the activity activities which are related to their uh, class work or homework what is going on so that you, instead of focusing more on the other stuff you can actually help them out in the particular thing and if you are home schooling with any uh, you know bundle or any curriculum just incorporate which is in the digestible way and divide it into the parts in the whole day so that it is fun and also uh, something in which they, they don't have to sit for very long because kids under 6 cannot sit for very long and it's not healthy as well so i hope that i gave you some ideas how we are doing i hope you enjoyed if you got a few points what you learned what your thoughts are if you need any help whatever your questions are let me know in the comment section i would love to read them i read each and every comment and i try to reply to as many not try to actually i reply to most of the comments unless i don't understand what it is written or if it is mean which i hardly get i hardly get mean comments but just letting you know because it's true um be be sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends those who are struggling those if you think like it can be helpful for any parent out there just share with them thank you so much for being here and i will see you guys in my next video